Thank you, Chair. Um, like my NDP colleague, um, sir, I, I am completely astonished of your complete lack of preparation for this committee hearing. You start off in your opening statement talking about how you and Mr. Firth have been wrongly portrayed in media, newsprint, committee hearings, MP, word on the street. You talk about the financial stresses, the emotional stresses, and you don't have any concrete answer to clearly relevant questions. You very proudly state it that you stand behind the words of your partner, Mr. Firth, that the Auditor General's report was completely inaccurate. How on earth could you have prepared any less for this hearing by not taking 20 minutes to read the actual report? I find it absolutely astonishing, sir, and quite frankly, it reflects very poorly on your credibility. So I want to ask you some questions for clarification. Are you in a partnership with Firth or are you a director in a company registered either through the Canada Corporations Act or the Ontario Corporations Act? What is it? We are partners. Do you have a partnership agreement? Yes or no? Just, just can I confirm with a, my lawyer for one second, please? Yep, go ahead, just uh, mute yourself. <laughs> Sorry. We are a corporation, and I am a shareholder for that corporation. So you're not, not in a, a, you're not in a partnership. You may refer to yourself as partners, but you don't have a legal partnership agreement, correct? That's correct. Okay. So you are a director and you under, and you didn't understand that directors have joint and several liability, meaning that you're both responsible for consequences of the acts of directors. You're aware of that now, sir? Um, I don't believe that to be true. Okay. Well, you can check with your lawyer on that. Um, Mr. Firth has put it out there in real evidence that he has committed, not on one occasion, but on multiple occasions, acts of forgery that would be defined as a criminal act under the Criminal Code of Canada. He claims it was a mistake. And as a former prosecutor... Pretty much every single accused that I dealt with in the last 20 plus years always claim they made mistakes. You understand, sir, ignorance of the law is no excuse. You understand that? Sure. So if Mr. Firth was willing to do that, but this is, I'm talking about the Botler uh, complaint, on at least four or five occasions without consulting, without getting approval, without getting clearance from Bottler to change the actual resume to ensure they received a contract, it really begs the question, how many times has your 50-50 partner, director, Mr. Firth, done that on other contracts? Do you have an answer to that? I don't have... I don't have an... I don't have any knowledge of that. No, because what he does is up to him and what you do is up to you, correct? Is that your understanding? Yes. I see. Now, who was responsible for your web design on your website that probably fraudulently identifies several key government employees boasting about the value uh, of your uh, of your company, who was responsible for creating this web design? Um, I'm not sure. I believe that we did hire out someone to to build our website for us in 2015. Okay, who was the company? Um, I I don't have that information in front of me right now. You'll supply the information to us. 
Yeah, I can check my records. Okay. And in addition to Mr. Barrett's questions to you, you will also provide to me by, I'm going to give you seven days to do this, sir, the names of all the government employees that are referenced uh, in your website boasting about your particular company. You'll do that because you didn't have the answer as to who they were, but in seven days you'll provide me with that information, won't you? I can try and find that information for you. Thank you. 